Uh, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Rajas Kaka Sungura YouTube channel. A big thank you for your continued support. I'm loving how the online DCIs are doing the investigation. In fact, online Kenyan DCIs, they are more competent than the DCI themselves. <clears throat> because Kenyans have learned to put heads together to unravel something that has been hidden for decades. And if there's something that is going to rescue the Republic of Kenya is the Gen Z's on social media. Why? Internet doesn't forget. And this data is available each and every day. Even if it's 10 years ago, the data is still fresh and available as long as you keep your records correctly. Um, last week, the principal secretary in the Ministry of um, Foreign Affairs had released a demand letter to the Ford Foundation listing companies and NGOs that are being sponsored by the Ford Foundation to cause mayhem and chaos in the Republic of Kenya. The NGOs that were released, according to the principal secretary, he says, the Ford Foundation released a total of 752 million that was sent to 16 organizations over the past one year which, according to the government, were used to sponsor the Mandamano that you are, we are witnessing in the Republic of Kenya. Now, the brave Kenyans went into um, Uchunguzi. Yeah? The Gen Z's on internet wanted to understand if the 16 organizations listed by the government were fairly listed on fair grounds. We have their names online. I read them in my previous video. Now, the 16 organizations, the Kenyans were asking, are these the only organizations that are benefiting from the Ford Foundation? Brave Kenyans went on internet. And they came to discover that the Ministry of Foreign Affairs omitted one organization under the office of the First Lady that the Ford Foundation has publicly listed on their website as one of the beneficiaries of the grants. The organization is Joyful Women Organization, Joywo. Joyful Women Organization. And this is an organization that was founded by Rachel Ruto, which are among the organizations that received the money the Kenyan government claims is sponsoring the Mandamano in the Republic of Kenya. Now, this, before I go further, this information itself makes us believe that whatever the government is propagating towards Ford Foundation is fake news. And so, Kenyans should reject and ignore propagandists. This itself confirms to us that Ruto is a propagandist. Because if you can list 16 organizations that have received Ford grants for the past one year, but you boldly omit an organization being run by his wife. It's a clear indication that William Ruto is biased. He's not genuine to his words. According to the Ford Foundation East Africa Guarantees page that is on internet and in the public domain, Joy War has received grants since the year 2006. 
in November 2014, Joywo received a total of 100,119 100, US dollars when we use the current exchange rate. That translates to 13 million 115,589 at the current exchange rate that is aimed at promoting table banking amongst women. Another grant of 105,000, approximately 13.75 million, was approved in May 2020 to support the automation of operations of institutional strengthening. The Joy War organization has been in the public domain as one that was formed by Rachel Ruto to see women meet their basic needs and fulfill their potential. Currently, according to the data, Joy War boasts over 20, 240,000 active members, more than 16,000 active groups, and a revolving fund exceeding 21 million US dollars, which amounts to 2.74 billion. Ladies and gentlemen, if Ruta believes that the 16 organizations that were listed were funded to cause chaos, then we also believe that Rachel Ruto is among the sponsors of Mandamano. And as Kenyans, we demand that his organizations, his, uh, her organization, be listed among the organizations that were listed funding chaos in the Republic of Kenya. To watch a selective justice. And this is what I've been saying. If we are serious about fighting some things, can we do it with truth? Can we do it with fairness? To watch a member of selective justice. Eh? So, kama kuna sponsor wa maandamano manda ma, katika taifa la Kenya, pia, Rachel Ruto, awekwe kati ya wale watu ambao wana sponsor maandamano. Finally, we reached 100,000 subscribers. And uh, we have received the silver button. And uh, in my next video, I will be unsealing the silver button because this is a win to all of us. This is an award to all of us. And I will be unsealing it in public just to dedicate that win to you. Because winning this at 100,000 subscribers is not my win as Kaka Sungura. I want to dedicate that win to all of you as my subscribers, to all of you as my fans, because this has been possible because of all of you. Um, I want to also tell the Genesis the pressure keeps on increasing. There is no retreat. There is no surrender. Keep on. And I know finally, it doesn't matter how long, but I believe finally we are going to win this battle together. God bless you, ladies and gentlemen. God bless you, Asantani-san.